The IntelliRock system includes both temperature and maturity loggers. Temperature loggers are primarily used in mass pours to monitor temperature gradients. Maturity loggers track both temperature and maturity in order to estimate the strength of in-place concrete. Loggers should be securely placed prior to the concrete pour. Typically, this is done by attaching the loggers to rebar. To activate a logger, turn on your reader by pressing the on button in the upper right hand corner. The screen will display the IntelliRock logo followed by the current time, then the main menu. When a logger is not attached, the reader's main menu will allow you to adjust the display's contrast, set the time and date, select Celsius or Fahrenheit display modes, and erase any logger information that has been downloaded to the reader. Connect the logger to the reader by attaching the red wire to the red clip and the black wire to the black clip. The reader will automatically recognize the connected logger and the options in the main menu will change. Now, select F2, Start Logging, to activate the logger. On the following menu, select F1 to enter a job name for the logger. Use the keypad to enter the job name using no more than 15 characters. Press the Enter button to accept and save the job name. You can also select from a list of job names that have been recently entered. It is best to keep the job name consistent so the IntelliRock software can automatically organize data from each job site. This is especially important if there are multiple readers being used on a job site. Now, give the logger a location name by selecting F1. The location name allows you to easily identify the location of the logger without having to keep track of serial numbers and locations manually. Like the job name, the location name must be 15 characters or less. Press the Enter button to accept and save the location name. Finally, if the logger is a maturity logger, you'll be prompted to enter or accept the datum temperature. It is very important to leave the datum temperature set at zero unless the project specifications or calibration procedures requires it to be changed. Select Enter to accept the datum temperature. The logger is now activated and running as indicated by the word run in the upper left of the screen. You can now disconnect the logger wires from the reader.